Um, if you roll off of um, anywhere that's super high, you're gonna lose time. Uh, rolling off of somewhere is the slowest way you can fall. Um, punching off is the is pretty fast. Um, walking is very. Uh, walking off is the fastest, I believe. So from here, you want to punch out the door, punch around the bridge a couple times, and you're going to punch down here. Okay, so simple stuff right there. Uh, just a bunch of punches. Punch again. So basically you're making your way to this house, to that scout fly. Roll again, punch right in front of the door. Then you can uppercut the scout fly. Um, yeah, so that's really simple. Uh, just chaining your punches and rolls until you get to the scout fly where you can uppercut it. Punch back. Now this is uh, very much muscle memory. Um, you're going to roll to the other hut, which you can't see. But it's just, uh, you kind of roll to the upper left part of your stick here. So... And you should land right in the door. Uh, from here, roll straight to the scout fly, punch it, or uh, ground pound it, rather, and roll in the same area. <laughs> so this this roll back is kind of difficult because the camera is kind of awkward, but it, that's just muscle memory. I mean, a lot of times you just roll right into here. Um, yeah. Pretty easy to avoid it after you do it a few times. Um, from there, you want to punch left and roll. Uh, you should either land, it's ideal to land about right here. Uh, landing over here isn't that bad since you can just roll over the bridge, but sometimes you can't. Uh, sometimes you're too close and you don't roll over the bridge. Um, so when you get here, roll, roll. <laughs> Ideally, you wouldn't fall off there, but uh, you want to roll there, and from here, it should be three rolls to that rock. So one, two, three, and then from there, you can either uh, high jump, ground pound, or if you can't high jump, just double jump there, ground pound spin. And you kind of want to go to the right a little bit here. Uh, it avoids that ledge grab. If you go to the left, you'll almost get the ledge grab every time. Um, come over to the right more. Sometimes you might get it, but most of the time you won't. So like that. And then right from here, you want to uppercut to these orbs. Uppercut spin to the orbs. You can punch through these orbs, but you don't want to punch too far or else you just go off the ledge. Um, when you get here, so, punch the orbs, then you kind of want to walk and do an extended uppercut. This is a good place to practice extended uppercuts, uh, because you really have to extend for this. Try not to ledge grab. And then, uh... <laughs> okay. And from here... You can uppercut the scout fly instead of ground pounding on it. This is much faster. You just grab it, punch back. Now, um, there's two ways you can do this. You can do an extended uppercut back, which is slow. But because this is a higher ledge, it's easier to boost it off of um, to that ledge. So same thing. You just want to walk off. And you have to do only the uppercut. You don't have to spin. It has the same effect. As long as you walk off the edge and uppercut, you'll make it to here. Another thing is you don't want to uh, uppercut too close to here or you'll bonk right here. Um, this is kind of an invisible wall. Um, so you kind of want to be more to the left. From here. Roll, high jump, and I can't get the high jump. 
I'm really bad at this high jump for some reason. Uh, so yeah, high jump up here. If not, if you don't get it, ground pound spin. Uh, uppercut that. Punch over here. And you should land next to this cow. Hi, <laughs> cow. Uh, you want to keep rolling. You can punch through these orbs. So that's pretty exact moving right there, what I just did. Uh, I did two rolls into two punches and then into two rolls again. Um, you can punch from here. And you want to ground pound right on this, not right on this ledge, but right above it. So ground pound, spin. Uh, it's easier to uh, ground pound more to the right because you're higher. If you ground pound more to the left, you're probably going to ledge back. Um, so yeah, from here, punch roll right over the bridge, punch roll, high jump, and then from here you can roll across the river, just like that, punch, roll, punch, and then from here you should be right under the fisherman. Okay, so that's very exact movement. Uh, very easy. If you can't remember the movement, all I would recommend is chaining your roll jumps and your punches. So just punch, roll jump, punch, roll jump. As long as you're doing something. Fisherman is something. Uh, yeah, it's just very. Very RNG. <laughs> Try to explain it. So you want to mash X. There are two types <clears throat> of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <clears throat> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from Oops. you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Okay, so fish, to get good at fish, you just want to move around. Uh, you want to do this a lot, actually, if you want to get good. So I probably won't miss any fish, only because I've done this for so many, uh, I've done this so many times. <clears throat> um, I'll tell you guys what's average when I get there, and yeah, what's not a good fish and what is a good fish. <clears throat> Okay, so this is this is the third phase of fish. Um, you should have about 85 or so, 85 to 90 would be pretty good. Four, after fourth phase, average is 145. That's a good amount, um, and I do not have anything like that. So 129 is about 16 below average um, so yeah it's not very good just to give you an idea of what's good and what's not after eels you want to have 155 it's about average I mean this is the final phase you want to have about three big ones to keep it okay So that would be the end of that split. Streamer who has world records.